At the end of season 2 of Young Justice, we see Kid Flash cease to be and fade away, with everyone believing that he has died. Now, I have previously done videos about what really happened here and where Kid Flash really is, as I don't believe for one second that he is actually dead. And with season 3 of Young Justice just ended, I thought I'd go over where Kid Flash is now, based on the clues left in the season. Now, there are several different clues, but I'm only going to be looking at the main ones. And the first one is in the episode where Beast Boy puts on the good goggles and goes on a mass hallucination and revisits all those characters who have died. And though Kid Flash says that others are dead, he never actually says that he is dead. Now, some have said that this doesn't actually mean anything, but with Young Justice being written the way it's written, I think it does. And I think it's the first hint from the writers that Kid Flash is still alive. Next, we have the biggest clue that he's still alive in the season, and this is near the end of season 3 when Artemis wants to contact Kid Flash's soul. So she asks Satana to use her magic to call his soul so that she can speak to Wally West. Now, initially, when I was watching this, since it's near the end of season 3, I thought that she wasn't actually going to be able to contact Kid Flash because he isn't dead, and then they'd realise that he's still alive. And this would be the setup for season 4 with all the team going out to try and look for Kid Flash. But then when we saw Kid Flash, I was extremely surprised and thought, oh my god, he actually is dead then. But then Zatanna reveals at the end of the episode that she was actually unable to call his soul as she lacks the power. And the Kid Flash that we saw Artemis interact with was just a psychic projection created by Miss Martian. Which is pretty messed up. Even though it was done with good intentions, it's still messed up. And Artemis is going to be so angry at them when Kid Flash returns and she realises what they did to her. Because she was grieving and although they were trying to be nice, really that's going to screw her mind up. But because it was revealed that it wasn't the real Kid Flash, I think this was a clear indication that he is not dead. Otherwise, they probably would have had Zatanna contact him. And of course, it was the writers playing with the audience a little bit and making all of us who thought that he was alive feel like idiots, only to reveal that, oh no, he is still alive, you were right. The final clue is the one that points us as to where Kid Flash is now. And that's in one of the last scenes of the season where we see a waitress wearing a Legionnaire flight ring. Now, for those who don't know, in the future, there is a superhero team called the Legion of Heroes. And they are made up of countless heroes across the universe from all the different planets of the universe. And each member of this league has a golden ring with an L on it. And these rings allow them to fly and survive in space. And basically, the Legion of Heroes is the Justice League of the future. And one thing they're always doing, even though they're not allowed to, is to time travel back to the present day of heroes. In fact, Superman actually had a whole animated series where he travelled to the future and basically learned how to be a hero by training with the Legion of Heroes. And there's also a DC film about two Legionnaires travelling back in time because they've screwed up history fantastically and they have to fix it. And it's actually not a bad film, even if it's not one of the more famous ones. And most recently, of course, the film Justice League vs. The Fatal Five is all about a Legionnaire travelling back in time and eventually teaming up with the Justice League. And there's also a great episode of Justice League Unlimited where the Justice League travel forwards again to fight the Fatal Five and team up with the Legion of Heroes. But I'm digressing. My point is that this is a clear setup for Season 4 and it definitely means that the Legion are travelling back in time to the Young Justice era. And I personally think this is most likely where Kid Flash is going to be. Now, it's not definite of course as I don't know the writer's plans but as I have said in my previous Kid Flash videos the Flash has been lost in time before. Now, for the full story, I'll put links to these videos in this video's description. But basically, one involves time travel and the other involves the Speed Force. And I think the most obvious way for this to go, based on this Legion ring, is that when Wally West disappeared in Season 2, he went through time and time travel to the future to where the Legion of Heroes are. Now, he may not have gone there directly. Instead, he may have time travelled through different eras in time, meaning that we could actually have an episode where we see Wally West travelling through different time periods, possibly even teaming up with historical figures like Sherlock Holmes, which would actually be a great story to watch. But I imagine that he is going to end up with the Legion of Heroes eventually, which does beg the question, why hasn't he just travelled back in time, since the Legion of Heroes do have time travel technology? 
Now it could be a case that he is needed in the future for some reason, perhaps to fight some enemy. But since we are talking about time travel, he could have easily stayed there for weeks, months, even years, and then just time travel back to five minutes after he left. So he could have easily been gone for a really long time, but to the present day Young Justice team, it would have been nothing. So the only real reason I can think of is that something is either stopping him from time traveling, or that he has amnesia and can't remember what time period he is from. Now, time travel can affect a person's mind, so they can't remember when they traveled from. This is actually a very common thing in the DC Universe that writers use quite frequently to explain these time travel problems. In fact, this actually once happened to Superboy, when he time traveled to the Legion of Heroes day and couldn't actually remember when he came from. This happened in the Teen Titans comic, and it took him months to remember when he left. Of course, he then goes back and gets the Titans and brings them to the future so they can help defeat the bad guys. Who again is the Fatal Five. Well, actually it's the Fatal 500, but it's the same team. And I imagine this is going to be very similar in Young Justice. And what I think will happen is that the Legion will travel back in time to recruit some heroes to help them in the future. And this team will of course include Artemis. And then while they're in the future, they will come across Wally West. It may even be a case that the bad guys have Wally West and not the good guys, and maybe they need to rescue him. Or maybe he is in the Legion and just has amnesia, and Artemis will recognize him, but he won't remember her. Then when he sees her in mortal danger, his memories will of course return in a flash. And more than likely, I imagine the enemy will be the Fatal Five, because most times when the Legion of Heroes has time traveled to recruit heroes, it's usually end up being them as the enemy. Might be someone different, but it probably will be them. Now the story might also be slightly different, but that is usually how these things go. Either he's going to be kept by the bad guys and they're going to find him and rescue him, or he's just going to have forgotten who they are and then they're going to jog his memory and again rescue him. And if that's not the case, well then the reverse could actually be true. And the Legion might actually be traveling back in time to fix the timeline and help rescue Kid Flash. Who could either be trapped in some sort of temporal prison, or time bubble, or just in the speed force, and they use their advanced signs to free him. This has actually happened quite a lot with the Legion of Heroes, when there's someone who's disappeared in the timeline who wasn't supposed to, and they come back to correct it to ensure a good future. But personally, I think it much more likely the team will travel to the future, because that's a classic superhero story that pretty much every franchise tells at some point. And it's usually a dystopian future in which the Young Justice help create, and they need to fix it. But in any case, it's unlikely that the writers won't want to show the future of Young Justice. After all, what sci-fi writer passes up the chance? None. Everyone will do it in the superhero world because it's a story that we all want to watch, and it's a story that they can have a lot of fun writing. Now of course, this is only a fan theory, as I don't know what the writers have planned. But it does make a lot of sense for this to happen based on what we've seen in the season, and it also makes a lot of sense based on what we've seen in the Flash's stories before when they've disappeared in the comics. And if it's not exactly this that happens, then something along these lines will probably happen. But most likely, Kid Flash is in the future, in the Legion of Heroes era. Either the bad guys have him, or the good guys have him. But the real question is, what do you think of this theory? Do you think what I've said makes sense, and that Kid Flash is in the Legion of Heroes future time period? Or do you think that he's trapped in the Speed Force? Or do you have another theory entirely on where he is? Well, be sure to let us know in the comments, because I really do want to know people's opinions on this. This is something that we've all been thinking about over the past few years, and we've all been guessing and wondering exactly where Kid Flash is. And I'm quite excited to see what the actual answer will be, and I'd love to hear your opinions. And I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.